All right, so the latest and final polling from the New York Times and Siena College show these races are tight. This race is far from over, and it puts Democrats in ahead in all of the important Senate races in Arizona and Georgia and shows a dead heat in Nevada between Cortez Masto and Laxalt. Uh, it has Fetterman still ahead of Oz in Pennsylvania, as we just mentioned. That poll was largely prior to the very controversial debate that we all watched between Fetterman and Oz. So with that, we bring in Kellyanne Conway, former senior counselor to President Trump, and Robert Wolf, former economic advisor to President Obama. Both are Fox News contributors. Great to have both of you with us today. So I think a lot of folks looked at that New York Times Siena poll today and said, wow, uh, this, this, could go, this could go either way. Robert, what was your reaction? Well, I was pleasantly surprised that it had us up five plus points on most of those. I don't look at polls that closely. Kellyanne, that's what she does for a living. My gut feel is that I think we're going to do a uh, better election night than, you know, kind of what the GOP thinks. I know they're out saying that there's a wave. There's no wave coming. Um, I think Warnock's going to win. I think it will probably go to a runoff. I think Kelly will win. I think Tim Ryan's going to be an upset victor in, uh, in Ohio. And I think Fetterman's going to pull it out. Mm. So you are not a fan of this New York Times Siena poll. No. Explain to people why. What's wrong with this poll? Sure. It's very simple. First of all, the New York Times poll has been a disaster. They have beclowned and embarrassed themselves in the last couple cycles. Let's roll the tape. Let's show the receipts. In 2020 alone, they had Mark Kelly winning by 71 by 2. They had Biden up six points in Pennsylvania. He won by barely a point. Biden up three points in Iowa. Trump won by eight. Martha, that's an 11-point difference. And when you do things like that, you are depressing donors. You are telling the voters that it's over. Your vote, your voice, and your choice don't matter because you can't help the underdog. Are they and you skewed can't... Democrat? These, you know, these, no, I mean, why are they so off? They're why are off they so because off? of their sample part. It, most of it is the science part. But let me just tell you about the Senate races quickly. Um, they were way off on the Senate races as well. They had Tom Tillis losing. He's a reelected Republican senator. They had uh, Susan Collins losing. She won by nine points. Lindsey Graham won by 10 points. Those are not squeakers. And I think their science is way off. But also, I just tweeted out, if anybody wants it, at Kellyanne Polls. I don't like Twitter, but the new Elon Musk Twitter I like a lot. And so I tweeted out. You suddenly that, have a lot more followers. <laughs> I tweeted out that um, that I showed that Nate Cohn, who runs the Upshot for the New York Times, has put out four or five articles in the last couple of months where he just can't be wrong this cycle. First, he has the Democrats holding the House, then he has the Republicans Ooh. winning everything. And so that's not helpful to anybody and anything. But look, polls are a snapshot in time. They show you the fundamental shifts. And right now, Robert, respectfully, the shifts are that voters are talking about rising crime and rising costs. Parents, moms are still upset about education. And I think in Georgia, it goes to a runoff and Herschel Walker pulls it out. They've gone a little too far in the personal attacks. That bothers people when you're not attacking crime, you're yeah. not attacking inflation, you're attacking the opponent. I'm, let, let me, and I'm, Fetterman, waiting, for my, I'm uh, waiting for my rebut. This uh, is uh, like, this is let's like a Let's give Robert a chance like to get in here. Uh, I know, let me, let, let's get in here. So uh, what, what is your preference for the outcome of this year's Senate elections? And you look at it, you know, you've got 49% GOP control they want in Arizona, 49% in Georgia they want GOP control, and Nevada, 48% want GOP control. So, so what's interesting here are when you look at these places where you've got New York, California, Virginia with the House races, right, you've got a lot of people who seem to be crossing over and Democrats who look like they're wanting to see a GOP outcome for these races. Who knows what's going to happen on election night? That's why we, that's why we stick around exactly. for the actual results. Um, but you're not feeling that in your gut? Listen, I, I think um, elections are much more local than we look at these national polls. Yeah. Maybe in the House it has a bit of more of a wave. We saw that in 2018 in the blue side. This year, you know, there's talk on the red side. I think with respect to Senate, Senate there's, we're talking about seven different candidates on each side. And it's a mano a mano type of environment. And I think if you look at each, I could give you a reason exactly why. I mean, if you want to talk crime, that means you shouldn't be for Abbott or you shouldn't be for Kemp because crime's up in Georgia and Texas. Well, if you want to talk the, the, the wait, time, to fund no, the no, no, me, I didn't. Say, wait, let me just re, let me reply. I could cherry pick every candidate on each side. Are you for defunding where the police? Where, not at all. Great. I could check on uh, I could party. on each candidate on every side. So, for example, let's just take Georgia. Unemployment's down. Jobs are up the highest they've ever been, and they're getting 10 billion from the infrastructure plan. 
That's a reason for the, on the economy. Vote Warnock. No, so that's I a could, reason to yeah. vote for Kent. Okay, well, that, see, there you, you, know, you go. You can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways. Well, some voters do have it both ways. They're going to they're going to split their tickets. Okay, so they then, like these chief executives. You know, when when President Obama was there over eight years, they went from twenty eight Democratic governors to sixteen. You lost twelve Democratic and they went governors because people don't want them as chief executives. Wait, they went back up so, to twenty seven. I mean, obviously, you know, the president's approval numbers are really weak. Yeah, and he's been at home. Uh, for the past two weeks, essentially. I mean, he's been made a couple of trips. Might go to, he's going to go to Pennsylvania, I guess. You know, what does that tell you? Well, listen, the, the incumbent president always gets smoked during the midterms, always, when they're not at the top of the ticket. Look at Obama in 2010. Look at, you know, Trump in 20, uh, in 20. But he tells you that they're people invited want, on the trail. Well, well, they've been invited. That's not true. Biden no. was in Trump was out there a ton in the Biden, midterms. Biden was in and Bush was even Biden out there was in, in the Pittsburgh. midterms. But Biden He's has been just like he was during the He's last be election. In basically at home. And and I, I don't I see think how that doesn't tell you something. I think most people don't want the incumbent with them. I hey, think Robert, that, I know a lot of They wanted Obama and Trump with them big time. Obama was barely on the stump in 2014. I can show you. Not in 2014. Not 2014. Well, was the first midterm. Right, and they learned from it. Oh, well, no, excuse <laughs> he me. He got smoked. Uh, quick, listen, quick a lot about of, Martha, a lot of Americans are working from home now. That should not include the president and the vice president of the United States. They should not be working from home. She They're, needs more on her public schedule. He should be out there. And by the way, if you voted campaigning for Campaigning is not working. But if That's you invoted, not the work. If you, invoted, if you voted for the Inflation Reduction Act, why are all these Democratic senators running away from they it? Should it should be. be part of their pitch. Totally it's agree. Not part I, of knew, their pitch. I, I, I knew we'd agree. I, I, no, I, I think it's true. I mean, I mean, I think that if you believe in what you're doing, yes. what, regardless of your approval numbers, you should be out there. And you should be making the point, look, you got to hang in there with us, right? I mean, I remember Philly. Bill Clinton saying at the convention, you know, nobody could have fixed this in one term, right? Yep. You have to stick with us. But that, we're not seeing it. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it's work. Maybe, maybe it I works in the end. I look forward to watching you tomorrow with Tim Thank Ryan you. and J.D. Vance. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to it, too. Great to have both of you here. Kellyanne and Richard, good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.